The Fall of the Middle Ages by Morgan and Karishma. The Crusades began with Pope Urban II. The Muslims had taken control of the Holy Land and the Christians wanted to reclaim it. Many people gathered and began the journey. Thousands of the Crusaders fell into battle with people from native countries. However, thousands more died from hunger and exposure. By the time the people made it to Jerusalem, they were reduced to about a fourth of their original size. The battle between the Christians and the Muslims was hard. However, the Christians took control of Jerusalem. In time, however, the Christians lost control of the city, later on to the Muslims. The Second Crusade was very short. The Crusaders attacked Damascus. They put the city under siege, but quickly gave up when reinforcements came, thus ending the Second Crusade. During the Third Crusade, Saladin, the Sultan of Egypt, was in control of Jerusalem. King Richard the Lionheart raised enough money and became the leader of the Third Crusade. The kings battled, but in the end, they came up with a truce, where Christians would be allowed to visit the Holy Land without paying tribute although the city would still remain in Muslim control. More crusades followed, however, none were as important as the first three. In the year 1215 in England, the Magna Carta was written. The Magna Carta was a document with new laws that the nobles had written to protest against King John. It was the first time in history that a written law challenged the authority of the monarch. Instead of rex lex, which means the king above the law, the document stated lex rex, king below the law. The only reason King John signed the document was to get his country back and satisfy the nobles. He didn't stay true to the document, causing the barons to become very upset with him. As soon as the nobles left London, he re-announced the document and appealed to Pope Innocent III, who declared the Magna Carta irrelevant. Only hundreds of years later did this document have any effect towards the people. During the 1300s, the Mongols, nomadic people that originated in Asia, began to conquer many lands. They were excellent horsemen and constructed the largest empire the world has ever seen. They traveled between China and Europe along the Silk Road. They brought along many items such as silk, herbs, and spices. Among the items they brought, they also brought the plague. They were the first to get it. As they approached castles to conquer, they would catapult dead infected corpses over the walls, introducing biological warfare. Some people managed to escape this castle and travel to a neighboring one, further spreading the disease. In a period of just three years, between 1347 to 1350, a third of Europe's population was dead. Symptoms of this plague included high fever, swelling, and inflamed lymph nodes, called buboes. It also caused red spots on the skin, which later turned black. There weren't enough people to keep the feudal system going. The medieval time period was coming to an end.